Hey, this is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel. Now, who's ready for some fighting words? In this video, I want to talk about the champ, Devin Haney. Um, he recently beat George Cambosos for the second time, even more convincingly than the first time. So with that chapter being done with his life, what's next? Um, there's a lot of talk about Lomo. There's still a lot of back and forth with, with uh, Devin Haney and Gervonta Tank Davis. We also have Shakur Stevenson lingering around, always lingering around. Um, and we also have a newcomer to the scene. We have um, Pitbull Cruz. So let's just get into it. I'm going to break down all these guys and how I think Devin Haney fares with them. Um, I think to be safe, I'm going to go with who I think he can beat moving up to who I don't think he can beat. So without further ado, I'm going to just jump into this. Um, first, I have Isaac Pitbull Cruz. Devin Haney can definitely beat Isaac Pitbull Cruz. I don't think it's going to be easy, but Devin Haney is a pretty versatile fighter. You know, he can kind of mix it up. But the main thing with him is he understands spacing. And in order for Pitbull to be effective, he must get in close. He must get his opponent to the, to the ropes. He must push them back. Devin Haney has great footwork. Devin Haney has great lateral footwork. I mean, but he can also fight backing up. Um, Pitbull is a Pitbull, but I think Devin Haney can use that actually against him. The, the, you know, when I look at the fight with, with Pitbull and Tank, I think one, w one of the reasons why Pitbull was so effective and did such a, a, a good job was because I don't think Tank truly knew who he was to begin with. I don't think he knew what he was bringing to the table, and I don't, I don't think he thought he would, he would show such little respect to Tank and just go straight at him. And I think that was like just shocking to him. Um, he does, and also he does hit hard. But I think with Devin Haney being taller, having much longer arms, and having in a very explosive jab, I just don't see how Pitbull really does much damage to 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 Devin Haney. Devin Haney would be wise not to get into a fight, a scrap with Pitbull Cruz, because then I don't believe it would go his way. I think that's the only way that he could get Pitbull actually competitively, competitively in the fight. But if he keeps his distance and he pops that jab the same way he did with Cambosos in the second fight, oh my goodness, that's that's going to be dangerous. Because one thing about Devin is he actually uses the jab, you know, as a weapon. You know, it's not just a range finder or anything like that. It's a weapon. And I think he could really bust Pitbull up. I mean, Pitbull is really going to have to fight against, fight through a few things. One, the range. Two, the, the jab. Um, and then trying to station himself or plant himself. Because Pitbull is the type of guy who kind of just plants a wide stance and just kind of goes at it. But that's not going to work because Dev is not going to be there. So I just don't see style-wise Pitbull getting his hands on Devin for long enough to, to be effective in a fight. So that's Isaac Pitbull Cruz. Next, I have Lomachenko. I know a lot of you are probably surprised that I have him so low, but I honestly think that Devin Haney beats uh, Lomachenko. And I'm going to tell you why. So one, I would just say that I uh, one Lomachenko is the oldest guy on this list, hands down. Um, so that's that. Now, yes, being the oldest guy on this list means he has the most experience on this list. But it also means that he's fighting a bunch of young guns that, that are fast and strong. And, you know, a lot of these guys kind of grew up watching this guy. So they kind of know your... Not, they don't necessarily know your tricks, but they've seen your tricks. And it, when when Lomo burst onto the scene, everybody was like, wow, you see how he's hopping around from side to side and switching angles and doing... All right, but all these guys are young. They saw it too. They saw it the same time we saw it. And they were kids when they saw it. They're all grown up now. So a lot of that stuff that Lomo does, I don't feel is going to be totally effective with Devin Haney. Also, I think that Devin Haney is just bigger than Lomachenko. Lomachenko is not, he's, you know, he's in the right, right weight class. He's not a very big guy. And Devin Haney is clearly going to be fighting at 47 one day. You know, he's he's pretty big for the division. And it, I mean, everybody's talking about this this picture on the internet, you know, on 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 uh, Instagram about you know how drained he looked for the Cambosos fight. You know, he looked like a skeleton, and he did. 
So I just think he's too big for, for Lomo. I also think that he's seen, uh, he's seen The Matrix. He grew up watching The Matrix. Uh, so he's going to be very familiar with all those tricks and, and the footwork and, you know, the peppering shots and, and a lot of that stuff, you know, just to blindside you. Um, the hopping from side to side, he's going to be very familiar with that stuff. And I just think he's too big. You know, Lomo is not really known for, not really, Lomo is not known for his power. What, what knocks guys down when it comes to Lomo is they never saw it coming. So it's timing. It's timing and speed. But also you were blinded by something else. You were probably captivated by the footwork and then you got hit with something and you went down. But it wasn't like sheer power or anything like that. Lomachenko is not tank. You know, so it, I just don't see him stopping uh, Devin Haney. And I see Devin Haney being more than capable to bounce around with, with Lomachenko. Actually, I think he Devin Haney has very fast feet and he has very fast hands. I, I don't see Lomachenko doing any of that 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 wizardry on Devin Haney. Um, not to mention, I always said, what if you want to slow Lomachenko down, pump the jab in his face. And if you really want to slow Lomachenko down, attack that body and pump the jab in his face. And Devin Haney will do both of those things. We all know he has a great jab, but he's not a slouch when it comes to body work either. So I honestly, I, I have Devin Haney being beating Lomachenko. I'm not saying that'd be easy, but to be quite frank, I feel like Devin Haney would have a harder time with Pitbull Cruz because at times he is going to have to like plant his feet just to get Pitbull off of him. And it it doesn't matter. Like Lomachenko is not going to push Devin Haney back. And if he does, he can more than fight his way out of that. And I don't see Devin Haney. One thing I'll give Devin Haney credit for is he doesn't have a weak mentality. And L Lomachenko doing all this stuff with his footwork and the peppering shots and the blindsided shots is not going to be enough to make Devin Haney say, I don't know what to do with this guy. He's not going to say that. He's not going to say that. And most of the guys who get beat by Lomachenko are screaming that in the corner. I can't see him. I don't know what to do. I don't know what he's doing next. That's really unorthodox. He's not going to do that. So that's another reason why I just have Devin Haney beating uh, Lomachenko. Now, who I don't think Devin Haney can beat. I don't think he can beat Tank. I'm sorry. I don't think Devin Haney can beat Javante Tank Davis. Um, I think when it comes to boxing, I think they're equal in terms of IQ. Um, when it comes to power, hands down. Come on, it's Tank. When it comes to durability, hands down. Come on, it's Tank. Tank's never been down. Tank's never, honestly, I've never really seen, I've never seen Tank rattle. I've seen Tank get cracked and I've never seen Tank rattle. We have seen Devin Haney rattled. I mean, in Lenora's fight where he's like wobbling back to his seat and he's like, what happened? You know, so let that have been Tank that, that, that threw that punch. He definitely would have been out of there the next round if he would have finished through that round, if he would have actually took the crack and stayed on his feet. That next round, he would have been over. It would have been over. Because that because when he came out the next round, he was still rattled from Lenora's hitting him. What do you think Tank's going to do to you? Also, Tank has very fast feet. And he's extremely explosive. Yeah, he's a lot shorter than Devin Haney. But Tank has this thing where he will explode and kind of burst forward. And he both feet off the ground, leaping forward. And he can do that with hooks. He can do that with jabs. And you never really know when he's going to do it. Tank, and one thing I really loved about the, the Roley fight with Tank is he showed, here's the thing with power punchers. They're very impatient because they're power punchers. They know in the back of their mind, all I got to do is put my hands on you. That's it. And this thing could be over if I just put my hands on you. And Tank with Roley Romero, even though he had that in the back of his mind, he was very patient. And we see him evolving just as a fighter and as a boxer. And one of those signs that you can tell somebody's evolving in, in the ring is patience. Patience and timing. Knowing that it will come, but I'm not going to rush that, that punch. I'm not going to rush the, you know, that, that combination. And properly setting that punch up. And I can easily see Tank walking Devin Haney into something. I can easily see that. And again, Tank is a finisher. I, I think when it comes to speed, Tank might be, you know, just that much faster or they're even. 
So I just don't see where Devin Haney has the advantage. He doesn't have it with power. He doesn't have it with strength. Um, he he doesn't have it with explosiveness. And I definitely don't feel like he has it with a uh, with a uh, with ring IQ. So that's why I got to go with Javante Tank Davis. Last but not least, I have not been shy on this channel to talk about Shakur Stevenson. I have been saying for years now that he is the dark horse of this division. And I will continue to say that until I'm proven wrong. Am I saying he's going to be the next Floyd Mayweather? He was saying that. Um, that, you know, we got to really look down the road to say something like that. But if there's anybody in this division who I think has the best chance of being the next Floyd Mayweather, I would definitely say it's Shakur Stevenson. When I say a complete, complete, complete fighter, he is everything. He understands distance. He understands spacing. He knows how to, he knows how to, he's not a big puncher, but combinations, jabs, perfect, perfect placement of footwork, understanding of spacing when punching and when having a punch thrown at him. You know, he, perfect head movement. The, the, if, if Shakur Stevenson had knockout power, one punch knockout power, he would honestly be, to me, a complete fighter. Um, I just don't see how... Devin Haney beats Shakur Stevenson. I'm sorry. He's not going to lay a punch on him unless Shakur wants to make it a dog fight. And that's totally, and you hear me now, that's totally up to Shakur Stevenson. That will not be up to Devin Haney. Um, I feel like, uh, oh, this is another thing that just hit me. So Shakur is growing into his frame. And in his last fight, he muscled his man down. So, no, you don't have, you know, one punch knockout power, but you're coming into your physical strength. You're, you know, your, your frame is growing and, you know, and he could easily muscle Devin Haney down. Devin Haney is not that guy. You know, my, my, one of my critiques with Devin Haney in the past is that he thinks he's a knockout artist and he's not. You know, he walk, he like he, he fights like he's a knockout artist and it's like, dude. Do what got you to the dance. That is boxing. Don't don't try to be something you're not. You know, and I, that's something that I say about a lot of fighters, but it's something I've definitely always critiqued Devin Haney with. I feel like if he boxes, he he is competitive with anybody. But when he decides, oh, I'm going to scrap it out, I'm going to try to hit you hard, and I'm going to try to lay you out, when he's forcing it, he's forcing that, that punch, and he's forcing heavy shots, that's not going to work for for him, especially with Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson hardly ever gets touched to begin with. Um, extremely fast, secondly. And although he has perfect footwork, it's the placement of his footwork. If you take a step forward, he'll literally take a half a step back. He's always in a position to hit you, but he likes to keep that distance where you are not able to hit him without him returning fire with at least a two, three punch combination. You know, and he's wise beyond his years. But that also comes from him being around Terrence Crawford, Andre Ward, and Clarissa Shields. And he, when he was younger, because there was a possibility at some point in time, I guess he was going to sign to Floyd. So he had been with Floyd when he was younger. And yeah, I know Devin Haney's been with Floyd since he was yay high. But still, he's been with nothing but world champions his whole career, literally. Nothing but world champions. Devin Haney's this guy who kind of just bounces around from gym to gym to gym, gym, gym. Shakur Stevenson has always been surrounded by a core group of world champions. That's a difference. Um, so I just don't see on any way on this green earth that Devin Haney can beat Shakur Stevenson. And there you have it. That's That's who I think... Devin Haney can beat, and that's who I think he cannot beat. Um, I'm not saying that's not privy to change, but at this moment, that's the way I have it. I think Devin Haney beats Pitbull. I think he beats Lomachenko. I do not think that he beats uh, Javante Tank Davis, and I do not think that he beats Shakur Stevenson. There you have it. And as always, please like, please share, please subscribe to my channel, and remember to tell a friend.